Are you struggling to encode and decode emojis for your database? You're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle this common issue and show you exactly how to handle emoji encoding and decoding. I totally get it. It can be really frustrating when you think you've got one part working only to hit a wall with the next step. Encoding emojis is tricky and decoding them can feel like a puzzle. But don't worry, we're here to solve it together. Here's the situation we're looking at. A user asked, I can encode emojis, but how do I decode them? They shared their encoding method, which seems to work fine, but decoding is still a mystery. Sound familiar? Let's dive in and find a solution. So, what's happening here? When you encode an emoji, it transforms into a format that can be stored in your database. However, decoding it back into a usable emoji requires a different approach. Let's break it down step by step and stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip to make working with emojis even easier. You won't want to miss it. To decode the emoji string, the user can utilize the built-in functionality of Swift. First, they need to convert the encoded string back into data using UTF-8 encoding. Next, the user should create a string from the data using the appropriate encoding. This will allow the emoji to be properly represented in the string format. Now, the user can use the decoded string as needed. This string will contain the original emoji, which can be stored in the database or displayed in the user interface. Finally, the user should test the decoding process to ensure that the emoji is correctly represented. They can do this by printing the decoded string to the console. Fun fact, emojis were originally created in Japan and have become a universal language of their own. Isn't it amazing how a simple smiley face can convey so much? Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution for encoding emojis suggests using UTF-8 encoding on your server. For encoding, you can use the same code to convert your comment into a string that contains the emoji. For decoding, the user provides a method that converts the emoji string back into a readable format. You can use this code to decode your comments. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always ensure your encoding and decoding methods are consistent. This will save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You should now, now be able to encode and decode emojis with ease. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tips and tricks. And remember, emojis can make your messages so much more fun.